So today I'm going to do a review of the TC Electronic AcuBrain Analog Delay Pedal. So um, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, here it is. The TC Electronic AcuBrain Analog Delay Pedal. I have to say this thing is badass. I've been having a great time with it since I got it. It's definitely a very hands-on analog kind of pedal um, where it's not you just don't set it and forget it you have to play with it to kind of get what you want but when you do it's great I guess the first thing I'm going to talk about uh, while I'm here is I'm going to just talk about the build quickly I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 uh, this is a very robust pedal I know this because I dropped it like four or five times to get the shot I wanted in the intro and it still works great the only comment I have is the switch feels I'm not getting the click that I want out of it other than that all right, so let me tell you a little bit about why I decided to go with the Echo Brain over a pedal such as the MXR Carbon Copy, which is, by the way, a great pedal. It's a great, versatile, all-around pedal, especially if you want to go for that U2 David Gilmore more traditional analog delay vibe. So going into the store, I didn't know what I was looking for, and I didn't know much about this pedal. Uh, so the first thing that drew my attention was the price point. It is under 100 bucks. I think I paid $70 for this thing. Uh, which is not too shabby, um, whereas the MXR is easily $120, $130. So this pedal isn't one that you're going to set it and forget it. You're going to spend a lot of time messing around with it, which is what I was looking for in, a, in an analog delay pedal. I tend to use this one more for um, a slap back feature because I don't have a reverb or anything on my amp, so I tend to set a simple slap back. Um, but it sounds very, very traditional, especially if you decide to do a lot of country or anything like that. It has a lot of really great kind of traditional personality. But it also has a really, really great self-oscillation feature. Um, like a lot of analog delays, when you get into the self-oscillation, you can get some really great harmonics, especially out of this pedal um, that I found was almost better than what I was getting out of the MXR or anything like that. The layout's really simple. You have your time, you have your mix knob, so uh, if you crank it all the way to the left, you have no delay, middle is a 50-50 of delay and clean, and all the way to this way, it's 100%, so it's a nice blend. Uh, blending knob. Oh, by the way, the knobs feel great. They don't feel cheap. They feel They feel good, which is important to me. And it's also true bypass. So when it's off, it's off. So I'm gonna plug it in. We're gonna mess around with it and just to kind of show you some of the cool tones you can get out of this pedal. There you have it. That's my review of the Echo Brain. Um, I totally recommend this pedal to anybody who needs an analog delay pedal in their arsenal, who wants to drive their bandmates crazy with self-oscillation. It's, it's a blast. So totally recommend it. 
If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want, you can visit my website. I just did a blog that compared this to like the MXR um, carbon copy. So yeah, please like and subscribe and leave comments. If there's pedals that you think I should try out that you totally recommend, put it in the comments. I would love to hear about it. So thank you very much and I'll talk to you guys soon.